Hey everybody, it's Unfraid here, and welcome to video 2 of the Rolling D50. I'm going to be talking a little bit today about uh, the three basic elements of sound, um, what needs to, uh, what elements need to be there for sound to exist, um, what hertz means, and the perception of sound, and also the features that D50 has that relate to the basics of sound, and the properties of envelopes. Okay, first thing first, um, the three elements of sound are pitch, and timbre, and amplitude. And D50 relates to this by um, giving you editing features for pitch. And, actually let me get out of this menu. Uh, yeah, for pitch, uh, filter, and amplitude. So you have those basics there. You have your waveform as well. But as far as the signal path goes, it's pitch, uh, timbre, and amplitude. I'm going to go ahead and get into the pitch uh, menu. And uh, D50 gives you uh, coarse tuning, which is the very basics of uh, what frequency your patch is going to be. You know, so you can set that. Uh, I normally keep mine at C4 because that's, you know, average. And you have your uh, fine tuning, which is plus 50 and minus 50. I keep it on zero, um, except for when I mix the uh, oscillators together. And then your key follow, different things like that. But the first element of pitch, or uh, element of sound, I should say, is pitch. And then the next part of that is your filter, or frequency, which is in the filter. And here's the frequency. I'm going to turn the frequency down to where it is nothing. So when I play the key, barely hear anything. So at 100 is very bright, and at 50 is a uh, moderate sound, and then at 0 it doesn't have any sound at all. And have a resonant filter, and keep hollow, and bias point, and bias direction, and level. And then the last element of sound is amplitude. And you can choose your level here. And there is 100%. And then you can choose your velocity and different levels and things like that. Okay. Uh, the next three elements um, that I'm going to talk about is what needs to exist for uh, sound to actually be perceived. Uh, one of those things is generation, which is oscillatory motion, which is going to be your pitch. So uh, an example of that is A440. A880 and A1760 and those are all the oscillations or measured in hertz because they are cycles per second. The second element for sound to exist is transmission which is compression and rarefaction within a conductive material. So for right now the conductive material is going to be our speaker over there and the air. So right now this uh, 880 it's going to the air at um, 880 cycles per second. And the last uh, part of the process is going to be reception. Um, and also, before we move on, um, compression is actually the higher than normal air pressure, refraction is the lower than normal air pressure. And um, perception is hearing and understanding. So when you hear 880, or 440, you're going to know that that is an A of some kind, uh, and a different octave. Um, 1760 is a really high octave up there, but the, all three notes are A's. You know, so every key has its own frequency, and um, different uh, octaves have their own frequency as well, even though they're the same notes. Um, D50 relates to these by, uh, like I said before, giving you the ability to modify uh, pitch, timbre, and amplitude. And the pitch gives you the pitch envelope generator, which is right here. Pitch envelope generator with the four steps and four levels. 
And there's actually two of these on D50, so D50 has the two uh, pitch envelope generators. And when you're editing pitch, you have your coarse tuning and fine tuning, like I said before. And for timbre, um, we have our frequency, which is going to be the waveform and filter and subtractive synthesis, because that's what subtractive synthesis is. It's really just uh, the most basic form of uh, modification of sound by filtering the you know, frequencies by actually for, uh, filtering out unwanted frequencies. And there they go. So here is no frequencies, or everything filtered all the way out, and every frequency allowed to be there. So all the high frequencies are back there, or into the uh, frequency there. Does that make any sense? And then a resonant filter, this just uh, accentuates the filter of the uh, frequency that it's on. So if you have that all the way to 30, it's, it accentuates this frequency quite a bit. I'm going to turn that down to zero because I'm not going to need that on there for our patch that we've got. And the last part is the TVA and D50 has the levels, like I said before, for the last part of the process. And this is actually the last part of the process um, when you have your output here from the signal generator to the speaker, and the speaker will transmit that through the air and into your ears. And you will hear a lovely synthesizer D50 sound. <laughs> it's good stuff. Um, once you have the three basic elements of sound, and you can perceive them and understand them, uh, you'll need to do something musical with those sounds. Instead of just having a frequency, and that's all you have, you know, you'll want to do something with it to make it more interesting. And that's where the envelope generators come in. There's the TBA and V. So you'll choose, you know, how long the sound is, uh, if there's any release time or not, um, how fast it starts, how slow it starts, different things like that. Uh, so that's your, your time and level. Okay. And uh, D50 has eight stage, uh, eight five stage uh, envelope generators for the uh, TBA and TBF. There's eight of those within D50. And for the um, the pitch envelope generator, you have two four-state envelopes generators there. So you have two of those and eight of those. Okay? And then you have your EQ and things like that. Uh, the rest of this uh, printout here is the uh, output mode and structure. And I'll get into the structure and output mode and stuff like that later on. Uh, D50 also has... Um, uh, four LFOs, uh, wave shape, uh, and pitch, and timbre, and amplitude can be controlled with those generators, or the LFOs there. You can also uh, assign different pitches and um, adjust the amplitude with the keyboard. So you can uh, select the velocity for that, and you would set that here, or the amount with the after touch slider there. Uh, anyways, uh, that's the basis of uh, sound and how D50 relates to it and as far as editing goes and all your options that you have. There's plenty of options there. Well, I am running out of time so I'm going to um, end this video here and I will talk to you soon.